The following problem asks us to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. Um, when you solve by factoring, you have to get it equal to zero. Okay, and, and you primarily do this whenever you have an x um, term. You know, you've got an x squared term always in a quadratic equation by definition. But whenever you have an x term, you got to have you got to solve get it equal to zero. Well, in this case, to do that, we got to subtract 12. We got to get that 12 from the right side, bring it to the left. 12 minus 12 gives us a zero on the right. So now we're going to look at the x squared minus 4x minus 12 and factor it. That's what we're trying to do, is factor that quadratic equation. So the one thing we know for sure is that you're going to have two parentheses, and it's going to be x times x, because x times x gives us that x squared term. And so then we have to look at the factors of 12. You know, what are those factors of 12? Well, they are 1 times 12, or 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 4 times 3. Um, I think that's it. And you got to think, okay, what do these negatives mean? We got a negative in front of the 12. That means I've got to have a plus and a minus. The only way, because I'm going to multiply those two numbers together to give me the negative 12. So one's going to be plus, one minus. And then if you look at the negative 4, well, that kind of makes sense that the 6 and the 2 might apply because 6 minus 2 does give us the 4. So we plug the 6 in um, and then the 2 in. Well, we can try to see if this is correct. Well, you multiply it out. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 6 times x is 6x. 6 times negative 2 is a negative 12. Well, when you add this together, you almost have the answer, right? Not quite right. x squared plus 4x, not minus 4x. So all, what that means is we actually need to change the signs. It should be x minus 6 instead of x plus 6, and x plus 2 instead of x minus 2. And that will give you the right answer. It always does. If you always have everything right except the sign of the middle term, then you just change the, change the signs. So now go, going back to actually solving the quadratic, now that we've got a factor, we've got to think of when is x minus 6 equals 0, when does x plus 2 equals 0. Because if, they, if one of those two equals 0, then the whole thing's 0. Okay, based upon that property of multiplication. Anything times 0 equals 0. Well, when does x minus 6 equals 0? Well, solve the equation. Add 6 to both sides, you end up with when x equals 6. And it's just the opposite of that number whenever, whenever x doesn't have a coefficient. And then on the other one, x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from both sides, you get x equals negative 2. So your solution to this, this quadratic is x equals um, 6 and x equals uh, negative 2. That, that is the solution. And if you wanted, you could go check this, check this solution out, right? You could plug 6 in real easily, and you'd get 6 squared is 36 uh, minus 4 times 6, which is 24. And that does equal 12, right? 6 squared is 36 minus 24. 36 minus 24 does equal 12. So that is a solution because it made the equation true. You can plug negative 2 in, same thing. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times negative 2 is 8. Does that equal 12? Well, yeah. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is a positive 8. 4 plus 2, uh, 8 does equal 12. So that shows 6 and negative 2 are the two solutions to this quadratic.